morning everybody saturday june 23rd 2018 here on the rancho happy saturday to you delighted to have missy jen sitting in this morning as usual good morning honey after a uh, night of uh, baking fun and success last night producing the lattice top cherry pie the hot june cherry pie and missy jenna gave a chance to use some more of those dollar tree duncan hines comstock cherries we had and there's a full three cans in here so this is a very very big <coughs> big oh pie God, cherries too. but i think it really turned out beautifully it whenever you see a pie it's a juicy pie like fruit and all that and you see bubbling out that signifies that your pie has reached the set point and is baked through and will set well for you. So I had to use a little flour too because I did not have any, forgot to get the corn starch. So we'll wait to say hi to everybody the uh, this morning. Let's see if we get a little more light here. There we go. So it was uh, from beginning to end. To knock off a pie, Missy Jen, two hours, which wasn't bad. Started it uh, started at nine o'clock and finished up at eleven. Got the kitchen reassembled at eleven thirty. That was it. Tara, good morning, Tara. sweetie. Hope you're doing okay. Thanks for stopping by good last morning. night. I appreciated you being in the uh, chat. You made it a lot of fun. Um, as usual, last night we now have Tara withdrawal on. So we won't be seeing terror for a few months, but uh, absence makes the heart grow fonder, right? So, so one more terror video will be coming up. Uh, and it's, what is it, Jen? It's really a video that features terror a lot down in the Petaluma, we'll be right down there. So got some good video of our last day that she was visiting. We went down there. So Petaluma. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to make that one to really try to showcase our friend uh, Tara. So if you haven't seen the uh, videos, I will be putting them all into a playlist, as I like to do, because, well, you can just sit there and push play one time and sit back and all the, it's like watching a TV series, right? So you get to see, um, you know, our adventures that we went we went on when Tara was here, and we sure had a good time. So there is the pie today. So we'll wait till uh, things get a little more underway here. We'll go in and cut the pie. It's beautifully set. Turned out well, Missy Jen. You can see the bottom of it is what color? Beautifully brown. Yellow. Yellow is brown. Cream. Beautifully brown. You can see that the bottom of it is done perfectly. I gotta say. One of the tricks to making a decent pie is to make very sure when you're doing a blind baked pie, that means a pie that gets hit with the filling and a top and bottom. Morning, Flan. Happy Pride to you, sweetie. Nice to see you. My best advice is put a little bit of aluminum foil on the bottom of your oven. And for the first 10 to 15 minutes of baking, put that pie directly on the bottom of the oven floor. Okay, that way there'll be so much heat blasted up through the bottom. Make sure you have good rated cookware. You don't want it to shatter in there. Can you imagine that shatter and all, all that shit goes everywhere, Dan? You can might as well just throw your oven out, right? And then um, for 10 or 15 minutes, leave it on the bottom of the oven floor. It'll be a mess. Epic proportions. And that way you get a crust that really gets done on the bottom because I tell you again, there's nothing worse than having a crust that's soggy, just eating dough on the bottom of a pie. So, all right. How are you doing, Flan? How's everything up in uh, Canada? <laughs> After uh, Trump's trade stuff, I'm surprised our Canadian friends are even talking to you. <laughs> Can you, Missy Jen says, can you say, Tariff, baby, what's the Trump got cooking today? All right, good to hear that, honey. Getting better a day at a time. Hope your sister's doing well, too. Um, 
Kulan. <laughs> it's Trump. Don't get me started. Woo! Well, luckily, luckily, YouTube is one of those places that transcends politics, so we don't really, uh, we don't really care. Let's face it, Flan. You know, everybody really wants to be Canadian, right? <laughs> you get the best of, uh, you get the best in life. You can, yeah, I'm Canadian. Hey, everybody loves Canadians, right, Jim? Hmm? I want to be French. Oh, you want to be French? Well, you could be French Canadian. French Dutch. Oh man, you got to be kidding me! Did you see that? Oh, what? I'm sorry to hear that, honey. Gosh darn, my deepest oh, sympathies. No. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I am so sorry. You haven't. I was wondering where you've been, but uh, wow, that's tough duty. I'm sorry, honey. Wow. Hey, balls deep, crusty pies. You don't like it. balls deep. You don't like to eat a pie. It's not uh, cooked through all the way, right? You're welcome, Flan. We love you, darling. Yeah, we sure love you. Damn, that's tough sorry, duty. Sorry, oh to man, hear that. that is tough duty. Anyway, as you guys can see, it turned out the uh, turned out quite well. It's a little more complicated. Than making your average uh, pie, I was not perfection in interlacing the top of it, but it was good enough. You know, it's good enough that you, uh, 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 you know, that it uh, it makes a it makes a good presentation. Would I take this to a fair? Well, it would have to have some kind of dynamite taste to overcome the fact that it's not perfectly latticed uh, on top, but. Uh, it's a good deal. Yeah, I would certainly say, you know, losing anybody is a very difficult uh, proposition for sure. So, yeah. That's for sure. What other hacks do we have on this thing, Mrs. Jen? No matter, you buy these uh, canned cherries and stuff, and they tell you they're ready to use in a pie right out of the uh, can. Eh, a lot of times, they don't have enough set to them. Meaning when you stick it, <laughs> there's cupcake. Nobody cares how it looks. Eat some. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, you know, Jen's a very, Jen's super, I tend to be more clinically, uh, what would you say, more clinically unemotional. Jen gets uh, very upset about people that experience loss. <laughs> Broccoli on pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Zinger, please tell me that's not true. Please, please tell me that's not true, huh? Let me make sure I got this chat all the way up. Oh, oh, oh. Sleeping a little. I slept a little later this morning. Unfortunately, this, uh, this damn TV I use in here for a monitor is starting to give out now. Yeah, it is over. <laughs> Barbecue cats. This TV here is still like one of those tube, tubular you, TVs. Zingers, zingers, fast as hell. Stuff. So, cupcake. I hope you're doing. Hope you're doing okay, honey. <laughs> yeah, I don't want fruit on pizza. See, there's. Uh, thank you, Flan. Yeah, broccoli on pizza. I'm not, you know, I'll try it. I'll try anything, but uh, oh, thank you, Cupcake. I love you, honey. I hope you're doing okay. I try to stop over when I can on uh, MX's uh, chat, but as soon as Ski Wee sees me, the band hammer. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Balls Deep. It was, all, it was a couple days ago. It was on... Uh, Thursday, but thank you very much. Frank, think hello, bacon pie. More for me, pineapple pizza. Flan said, I was in the pizza business 30 years, and ham pineapple is huge in Canada. And I hate Hi, Frank. I don't know if there's such a thing. Curious. Good morning, Rujik. It's nice to see you, sweetie. I'm I don't know curious if I've ever, what you're thinking about. <laughs> I, don't think I, ever, I don't think I ever had bacon on pizza, but why the hell not? 
Good morning, Dita. Uh, Andrea, oh, how are you doing, sweetie? Nice to see you, beauty. We got your honorary Michigan cherry pie here. Um, what is George thing? I mean, George has been kind of edgy lately at nighttime. I haven't quite figured it out. Like he doesn't really. Usually about eight o'clock at night, he likes to go to bed. He needs his twelve hours of uh, twelve hours of sleep at night. And um, just, he seems real antsy at night now. I don't know what's going on. I think he's seen a cat out there, one of the neighbor's cat. So he got that in his there memory. A, there's a white cat coming around now. Yeah. So George night. George is very irritated. So he's he kind of wants to be on patrol and stuff. So uh, Amanda May was on last night. Amanda May has a channel that's called Promiscuous Candy. She actually stopped by for uh, while I was baking last night for about 15 minutes uh, ago. Thanks, Frank. Yeah, the pie turned out really well. Good morning, cupcake. Yeah, the Canadian pizza's pepperoni, bacon, and mushroom. Yeah, I'd like to have a slice of that. That would be good. So, yeah, we did the lattice top uh, pie. Let's see, Andrew said, Good morning, Diane. Nice to see you. And don't send me anything. <laughs> Good morning, <laughs> Diane. <laughs> we can we can sort of, you know, we can certainly be uh be great friends. I, I was telling Jen yesterday, damn, I get I get so shamed when people send stuff all the time. You know? Yeah. They're I so already, thoughtful. They're so thoughtful. So thank you, Frank. I already said this year for my birthday, I I don't want anything. Yeah. Nothing. You know, it's it's uh, not a thing. Friendship is the thing. Uh, for us, that's for sure. Cupcake speaks German. Huh? Yeah, well. So, how are you this morning, Diane? You're up kind of early. Huh? Up a little bit early, so I think I'll go ahead and I'm going to grab the pie. I've got to install some blinds today. They finally came after Tara. That was Tara's last day. The the blinds for the Shine Shack. Yeah, I had a good time on my birthday. You know, Tara was here. I had a really good time. I had a really nice, uh, really nice time. But we've got, uh, uh, well, we've got four sets of blinds to get installed. Yeah, the Shine Check. And then I'm going to go see about uh, making some curtains. Somewhere around, somewhere here. I have a sewing machine in uh, store somewhere. And uh, even at age 15, I was making car seat covers. So I'm I'm pretty good with the sewing machine. Uh, yeah, Terror's a lot of fun, you know. Cupcake's grandpa went to kindergarten. All little kids spoke German. That's cool. That's cool. That's because Cupcake, they just wanted to taste your creamy filling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Frank. You're very sweet. Okay, you wake up around eight, and I usually wake up around five thirty, six in the morning. I used to get up at five. Right now, I'm I'm lazy in 2018. I'm treating myself to like six o'clock, six thirty wake up calls now. Super high. I sure to get it in comfort, Dita. Dita getting cupcake. <laughs> yeah. Grandma, Grandma, Cupcake screen filling brings all the boys <laughs> to the yard. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's one of my favorite people <sighs> on YouTube. Cupcake, and I will be meeting Cupcake. He will. Uh, I will be dining. We've already got the place picked out in Chicago, so that'll be great. Hey, Cupcake, what do you hear from Don? Anything, or did he go off the rails down there? And was he? Did he? Uh, did he scurry back to? Uh, we love you, Flan. Scurry Thank back you for to coming by. Uh, Stop Milwaukee. By. You didn't much miss much, Andrea. Just epic pie baking. <laughs> Actually, two hours <laughs> was very short last night i realized i hadn't made a pie in months so i decided to uh, go ahead and use up some cherries okay flan bye flan best wishes to you honey we love you take care
So I'm going to go ahead and go in and cut a few couple pieces for Missy Jen and I. Well, I missed everything on YouTube yesterday. I was outside working on stuff. It is 5, 12 p.m., so I'm not at all tired, says Frank. So you are, Frank, you are in Deutschland? Is Frank in Deutschland? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, and Andrea, you need to t take it easy. You need to sleep a lot more and rest. Ah, oh, you're in England. Nice. I see them. They've been on a them. It's big. Uh, having a big march. Big march for Brexit two year anniversary. Huge march. You guys can see how nicely that. Uh... That really cut beautifully there, that cherry, Missy Jen. I'll leave that for you. You got to take some cat naps during the day, Andrea. It's important to get some sleep, some rest. We got now the heat coming here. It's uh, going to be in the hundreds and stuff, so... That gets kind of rough, rough, rough. I haven't been on uh, YouTube yesterday. I have uh, just been doing some stuff around the house. Go ahead, try the pot. I'll check it out later, Diane. Got a really good clean cut on the pie. Andrea, this year, I got to say the heat. It was 100 the other day, and it was so bad. It's like uh, I couldn't stand the heat this year. That that day, it was terrible. He's going to be 104. Today? Yeah, it's going to be 104 today. It's going to be 104, so I can't even go outside at all. Oh, yeah. Uh. Yeah. You, yeah, we we watched the, uh, no, there were two of them. There was one, you were gone to your stylist. And, um, yeah, I was gone. Yeah, we got to catch it. We got to watch that. I didn't see nothing. Yeah. Yeah, the uh the the pie, how is it, Jen? Good. It's mm -hmm. very delicious, the um, top crust nice crispy. <laughs> Rosie, let's see you pop a cherry. Let me tell you, Dieter. Let me tell you this, my friend. I popped a few cherries. <laughs> yeah, the pie's good. You know, pies, you can never really take a lot of credit unless you're making a super original pie. You really, you know, the yeah, we have our, uh, we got our Colombian Costco coffee to go with it. Uh, Yep, Rosie's popped a few cherries over the years. <laughs> Hope y'all are having a good day. Diane said my favorite pie is cherry pie. That's cool. Oh uh, yeah, it's Kirkland coffee, which is very good. It's better than what we drank. It's also what, Jen, one third of the price or <laughs> what we were buying. Yeah, we're she, paying 13, to, what we sent times 10 bucks for a can. Comes in this big monster can. <laughs> <It's cheap. laughs> 
So we're gonna next time we go over to Costco, I'm gonna pick up four of those bad boys and shove them. So we don't have much money, so we gotta like really look at prices and stuff, you know. We don't have much money. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> the hell is that? <laughs> did I lose a job? Did I, did I get wiped out in the stock market? Yeah, it can all happen overnight, so you never know. <laughs> Diane, my favorite pie is a, um, it's undoubtedly a, a coconut cream pie. That's my favorite. Uh, my favorite pie. The coconut coffee is just really good. It's really good. Really good. I mean, it blew me away how good it is. It's a nice dark roast, but it's still to the point where it's not. And good. I don't want to grind my own coffee. So, you know, the boss is on last night. You know, they got coffee grinders at Costco. I know that. Well, I know it now. I was checking out, and they were on the other side of the checkout. But I buy the big can, it's already ground, right, Jen? So you just chuck it into the... I'm not going to Costco to work. I'm going to Costco to have fun. Sample the samples and stuff, and then I go home. If I want to go to Costco to work, I get a job. <laughs> We're going to be starting the Dollar Tree challenges again, the food challenges again. I stopped for four months because I wanted the stores to refill with new stuff up there because dollar stores are always buying shit that's left over from manufacturers and let that have time to refill for a new wave of uh, stuff. So we'll be back on the uh, dollar. I think we usually did them on Wednesdays. I got some work to do today. How's the pie? Mm -hmm. um, nice thing about cherry pie too. It's not a it's not a killer on calories. It's really really good, yeah. You know, I was able to get all these. What did I buy, Jen? Like eight cans of cherry pie filling. It was only a dollar can. Normally, when you go into a grocery store. And you look at the canned fruit, the blueberries, the cherries, you're always paying up to $4.50 for a can of uh, cherries to use in a pie. So it was a good savings. And the brand was good, too. Comstock, Duncan Hines. Good deal. Excellent cherry pie. Turned out pretty good, huh? I'm pleased. I am very pleased. So what y'all doing today? On our yeah, what's going on today? I know Cooper will be having his uh, hot chat. Day. Corey's having some, evidently some kind of tell-all this evening at uh, 8 p.m. on the West East Coast. I don't know what else is going on today. I am enjoying. I mean, I do miss the. I do miss the hangouts. I do miss. You know, we had sixty people on the baking last night, which is phenomenal, considering that doesn't even start till midnight on the East Coast. But uh, it's been good to have the time off. As I said in the videos, because I look around at what we've accomplished with the painting, the trim work here, and I'm. I'm so happy because. I'm going to be traveling a lot more next year, and I've got, as I told you guys, I've got to make damn sure that uh, this place is in good shape. I don't know if we lost the side chat or not. You know? yeah, everybody's quiet. Strange. 
things, but it's I've noticed another time I was doing a hang out in the chat chat just came to a stop and it's like YouTube was doing some update at that, <laughs> at that time and it took everybody off of uh, posting on the side chat. Hmm. So Andrea, what's the temperature up there? Oh, well, this pie asked? used, uh, I want to say this pie used uh, shortening last night, not butter, because shortening is 50% less saturated fat. Let me refresh this page just in case. Let's see, was it? Tita there was going to come to Santa Rosa. Oh, let's see. What happened over here? Got to go through an ad. <laughs> Crazy. It looks like it's still there. I have no idea what happened. Okay. Yeah. For some reason, I don't know. It stopped running. Really. Anyway, I'm going to finish my piece of pie. I don't know how long we've been on, but uh, we've got work to do around here today, so the timing isn't bad anyway. So, go ahead and bring this screen back up. All right. So, I'll leave you with this thought. And that butter industry, that dairy industry, did a damn good job killing the shortening industry. A lot of people, if you tell them which is healthier, cooking a pie with, baking a pie with shortening or baking a pie with butter, they're going to say, of course, oh, the butter's better. Now it's good. But the butter has 50% more saturated fat than that shortening does. And the shortening has zero trans fat. And it's just very yeah, interesting. Yeah, that is important. <clears throat> saturated fat is bad, bad, bad for you. It gives you a high cholesterol. It's, so it's, a, ba it's a balance, you know. It's a balance. Everybody's so quiet. What happened? I think something happened on YouTube. Let's see. All right. Well, a success. It's a full blown success. That's amazing. Very nice delicious. Cherry pie, cherry lettuce pie. Well done. No artificial flavor sweeteners. All homemade except for the cherries. There we are. All Thumbs right, guys. Up. Apologies for the uh, side chat. I know people have probably been posting away over yeah, there. So I'm not really sure. People have what happened, but appreciate 25 people being with us here this morning. Hope you have a wonderful Saturday today. And uh, Joe Kane, if you see this, uh, thank you. You got the beautiful flower arrangement yesterday. It was really, uh, oh, I sat it on the table in the so kitchen good. and then just the smell when you, once in a while there was a little wind, a little puff of wind breeze would come yeah. through and it would just take that smell over. It, smell it was of fantastic. All right, everybody, your thumbs up are appreciated. Please hit that thumbs up button. And uh, thanks for being along and see you around. Thanks, love. Thank you. Kisses.